All right, guys, it is currently Friday, uh, May the 3rd. It's about 3.08 a.m. in the morning. I wanted to make this video yesterday, but I had some issues getting this game installed on my PlayStation. I just woke up, so I'm, I'm logging on for the first time, and I'm hoping that it's all resolved. It, kept, it just kept installing updates, and I would start the game, and I would get an error message, and I would go back out and try again and blah, blah, blah. So I just got up from a nap. Um, I'm going to try to do this now. In fact, I'll go ahead and start setting things up so we don't have to wait so long. I'm just going to play on a guest account and let's hope that I'm able to get in here. Basically, this is just going to be a first impressions uh, video of Elden Ring. You guys know that I'm starting coverage on this game this week. I'm going to start writing the RTC guide. Uh, this was actually suggested by Dr. Hennessy, one of my patron supporters. Um, he said, hey, why don't you do uh, a video like you did with Astro's Playroom back when you got the PS5, but do it for Elden Ring, a little first impressions. And I was like, man, that would be cool. And we should also do this for all the games that I cover on the channel going forward. I think that would be really cool for you guys to see my first impressions when I don't know anything about the game. Uh, and then, the, of course, the RTC guide, you see me playing not at perfection, but I'm saying like it's practice, right? And then when I do my RTC Rewind for Elden Ring, you'll be able to see how my opinion might have changed, right? So I think that's pretty cool. Um, because he suggested this, I told him that he could pick my starting class, uh, the name of the character, and I, I, I then told him, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I said, you know, if there's a starting gift for this game, you know, you can pick that too. Because at the time I didn't know, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't, I didn't know if there was a starting gift or not, guys. I know very little about this game. Um, I've just seen the trailers and maybe like five minutes of gameplay, but I don't know what gameplay I saw. Like, I don't know where the player was when they were playing the game. I'll tell you if anything looks familiar, though. Let me go through and do all these options first, man. So, yeah, I appreciate you, Dr. Hennessy, for uh, contacting me over on Discord and let me know this is something that you wanted to see. We're going to go frame rate. I like that to be off. Uh, auto. I want it to be on the entire time. And I will be turning the music down, guys. I don't know how they are about this game when it comes to copyright. So it's just going to be sound effects. I apologize, but I don't want my content to get blocked in for other countries. Uh, I want to be offline 100%. Controls. I'll figure that out later. And I think we're ready to go. Oh, no. typical Souls game. <laughs> you get to do all this stuff over again. Okay. Oh, Vagabond. That was actually the, the starting class he wanted me to pick. Warrior, Hero, Bandit, Astrologer, Prophet, Samurai, Prisoner, Confessor, Wretch. I'm assuming that's your magic well i don't know it's a sword uh that's the magician for this game astrologer i'm assuming um interesting okay oops vagabond he wanted me to call the character square soul done all right type a will be young vagabond keepsake okay so this is the starting gift so he told me to pick the bewitching branch and then he changed it to lands between room he says something about that was gonna oh yeah there it goes yeah used to gain many runes i'm assuming the runes are like souls so that's how you level I think that's why he wanted me to pick that. Looks like we got a level nine character, Vigor 15 Mind. Not sure what that controls. Endurance 11, Strength 14, Dex 13, Intelligence 9, Faith 9, and Arcane. So you have Mind, Intelligence, Faith, and Arcane. Interesting. All right. I'm not sure how worried I should be. I've played a lot of Souls games, so I'm assuming this is going to be similar I'm not gonna worry about the cutscenes for now 
Okay, so we've got, yep, standard stuff in the top left. Health, magic, and stamina. We are fat rolling. That has got to be fixed. Oh, I like the split menu though. So you can actually see your character. I hated that about the other games. When you pulled up your menu, uh, it was just covering the entire screen, right? Um, I can already tell you right now that these have got to go. Not a fan of the random gestures when you're trying to fight and stuff. Okay, let's check things out. So equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bowls, armor, talismans. Interesting. You can equip up to three, left, right hand, blah, blah, blah. The actions each armament performs will vary based on which hand is wielding it. Okay. Got two weapons. Uh, looks like we're probably going to be using the halberd. It does a little bit more damage. Okay. Ah, the heater shield. <laughs> uh, I'm just coming off my uh, RTC guide for um, Demon Souls. You guys will be seeing that this month. And we use the heater shield to get through that game. That's cool. Vagabond set. Um, oh, on the right where it says equipment load underneath, it says heavy load. I don't know why the other souls games did not tell you, you know, specifically medium, light, heavy. I just never could figure it out. I mean, you, you could obviously do the math with the percentages and everything, but just list it. So, um, looks like if we get rid of that, we can be medium. It gives us poise of 26. Yeah, we'll just take that. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that gives us 27. And we're still, wait, are we still fat? Ah, we are. So we'll take the, uh, the helmet off. Okay. That's the rune that we picked up. I'm going to wait to use that until we find a place to level up. Um, all the other stuff just looks pretty standard to a Dark Souls game. So um, we do have memory slots. I'm assuming that's for spells. And I say that because Demon Souls had the same classification. Uh, inventory. Ashes. Crafting. Okay. Okay. Sorceries, incantations, ashes of war. We got some new things to think about. And talismans. Okay. We still have item discovery. I saw that. Everything else is pretty standard. Okay. I love the split screen menu there. That is perfect. A lot more games should think about doing that. Okay, now we're rolling good. Okay, cool. What do we have here? Uh, finger? I don't like that triangle is how you interact with uh, stuff in the game, though. Because I really want to hit X or O. Triangle seems weird to me. I don't know if I like that. I may have to go in and what do we have here? And uh, I guess you can do that, right? Can you do that? Mess with your. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can mess with the key binds. I may do that when I run this game because I'm going to play it the entire game immediately after this <laughs> to start riding the guide and I'll I'll look at things I'm supposed to dive off here. Man, that's beautiful though. It's nice looking. Let's see what's back over here. Okay, so you can break objects in the environment, but I don't think that's going to give us anything in terms of items. What do we have here? Ah, huh. okay. So we got to figure out how to get into there. Statue. No, here we go. So this is a bridge statue. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Again, we're, we're just going to play maybe the first hour or two. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to cut. Um, 
but I think you guys want to see me just experience the game the way that I want to. So I think you probably get mad at me if I cut. So we'll see. Very beautiful game though. It makes me wonder um, how much more they could have done with it though if it were PS5 exclusive. Because Demon Souls looks fantastic. I feel like Demon Souls looks better than this game. I do like the color palette though. And this is 100% a boss fight here. Got a fog gate and the fog gates are, are gold this time. Wait, what? Oh, homie. I thought I had to go through the fog gate to get to this fool. Okay, buddy. Oh, that's going to suck. Okay. Oh, he's got some quick attacks. He's got crazy range. I need to switch to the, uh, the halberd so we can do some more damage. I need a two hand. Wait, you can't two hand in this game. Wait, what? I'm spamming triangle and I can't two hand. Jeez. I don't have a way to heal. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. I guess this is the typical souls game experience where you, uh, die to the first boss. I don't like that that you can't two hand unless there's something I don't know. I need to look at the, um, let me look at the controls again. Cause it's throwing me off. Okay. So we got our Estes flask or crimson tears and then cerulean tears. So this is just like dark souls three, just like dark souls three. Let's check out the controls. I gotta, I gotta figure out this. Um, wait, okay, strong attack, attack right hand and two handed armament R1, strong attack right hand and two hand armament R2. What that means if I have the weapon already two handed. I can hit R2. I understand that. How do you switch? How do you even get it to be two handed? It's triangle does event action, examine, open, etc. I'm not understanding this unless I'm just stupid right now. I don't see a way to two hand. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's going to be good for the God we make because I'm going to have you guys have a shield anyway, but still the cave of knowledge, jump down the hole ahead and you will find the cave of knowledge there. You can learn more about the game controls and basic actions. Okay. So this is the tutorial right here. Who's this guy? Brave tarnished. Take the plunge. Okay. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. All right, we can do that. Using item square. Yeah, we know that already. I'm going to stay on my, my flask though, because I don't want to use that rune. Sights of grace. Okay. Resting at sites of grace for HP. Okay. So this is bonfires. Fill your flask. However, most of the enemies you defeated will be revived. Okay, so you could farm stuff, materials, souls, blah, blah, blah. You can find sites of grace by going where light converges. Okay. Okay, and you can check out these info cards in the menu. Okay. So if we forget how to do something, they should, should fill us in. Okay. So you can touch the side of grace and then rest. Last time flask, memorize spell, sword chest. Okay, pretty standard stuff. You can pass time though. 
Oh. So I bet there's going to be certain items that are only available at certain times of the day, certain enemies, stuff like that. Otherwise, why would they have that feature? Okay. Lock on. I like the one shot. Attack right hand. Oh, so yeah, there it goes again. R2, but that's just a strong attack. It's still not telling me how to two hand. It's telling me there two hand armament, right? That's what 2H means. But it's it's not told me how to do that yet. Use an armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against. See there it's telling me as well. Both hand yeah, use it in your left hand or both hands. But it's still not telling me how to do that. That's kind of weird. That lets me know that they're going to tell me that later, but they should tell you that first. Guard. See how good the block is in this game. You only lose a little bit of stamina. Yeah, all these all these enemies are the same in all these games. You can just do this. <laughs> like it's just standard fare for these type of games. Dodging, you can avoid enemy attacks. Okay, we know this. Although I've never used backstep before. I don't know if anybody ever really uses the backstep mechanic, but I guess it would be pretty cool. Wait, jump? Oh, this is how little I know about this game. I did not know that you could jump. I mean, I knew you'd probably be able to jump, but not with just one button. Most of the time in these games, you have to hit, you have to double tap O or something like that, you know? And it's not like a jump like this, you know, it's like a jump. I don't know. It's like a, like more forward momentum is what I'm trying to say with the jumps, especially in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> that jump looked crazy. Okay. Wielding armaments. Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments. Armaments can also be two handed. Making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effective strength by 50%. Triangle plus L1 or R1. So you got to hit two buttons? Oh, no. I do not like that. So you have two menus. It's kind of like... Um, uh, well, not really like Neo. But, you know, Neo, you could have... You had those... Um, those shortcut menus you could, uh, I've, I mean, I've only played Neo 2. I haven't played Neo 1. I don't know if it's the same with that game, but you, you had the different shortcut sets at the bottom left. This is very similar to that. Uh, it's going to take me some getting used to them. And I'm just so used to hitting triangle and being able to two hand. And I guess if you don't do it correctly, you'll just swing wildly, which I don't like. All right. Well, I have to get used to it. Okay. Okay, there we go. So when you two hand, you can. I don't know. You might have been able to break that guard with one hand. It just might have taken a lot more shots, maybe. While blocked on, while locked on to, while while blocked, while locked onto a target, you can change targets. Okay. We know all this stuff. Okay. Easy work. They're not dropping any items, so could just be because we're inside of a tutorial. Armaments have special abil abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Use skills. Using skills consumes FP, L2. Okay, so this is just like... Uh, Dark Souls 3. Jesus. He got wrecked. Okay, so that's what that thing is in the le on the left there. The charge fourth. Yeah, and then when you're on your shield, it's parry. Uh, so the parry now actually takes FP? You can't just parry 
it uses FP. Am I am I understanding that correctly? That's interesting. Crouching. Crouching? Attack an enemy. Okay, yeah, so that's a backstab. You can crouch in this game? Oh, okay, okay. I'm not going to be doing that, I don't think. Uh, unless it's just required. If there's like 40 enemies in the area, then you sneak through. But I can already tell you that I play, I play this game, or I play all games, uh, very heavy on my thumbsticks. And I can already tell you that I'm going to be crouching in the middle of fights. <laughs> I can already tell you. That will happen. Okay, so this is going to be the crouch tutorial. I'm supposed to sneak up on this dude. Yeah, man. So we have some new tools to work with. But so far, the combat and everything is so familiar. It's just a Dark Souls game, really. I just thought this was going to be, I mean, it's a new IP. I thought it was going to, I mean, I knew it was going to have similarities to Dark Souls. I mean, you could see that in the trailer, but it just feels like Dark Souls. It doesn't feel like Elden Ring. Like if I didn't know this was Elden Ring, <laughs> right? Uh, I would just think it was like a DLC or something for Dark Souls. Three, stance breaking, charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Hold R2. Okay, I know about that. While jumping, jump attack. Oh, spin to win, baby. <laughs> Some Bloodborne right there. So you can jump attack. Uh, I wonder what the damage output is. Like if I do a regular attack and let's say it does 100 damage. I do a jumping attack. Wonder what the damage is. Is it still a hundred or does it give me like a little bit more stakes of America? <laughs> That's how I'm going to say it from America, from America. Uh, upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a stake of America near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. That's different. So that means you don't even have to interact with these. So if you die randomly out in the world or whatever, and there's one of these close, it'll just be automatic. Even if you don't have a bonfire or I'm sorry, a grace. Okay. Boss soldier of Godric. Godric. Sorry, not Godric, not G O T G O D Godric. You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking an enemy's attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. R2 immediately after blocking an attack. Okay. So we're going to do L1 and R2. Oh, baby. And I could have followed up with a, uh, a backstab, basically. Even though I wasn't behind him. Okay, hold on. Let's do that again. Well, that time he caught me, though. Uh. Dude, that's going to make blocking extremely effective. Does it work on everybody, though? Surely not. I mean, I know this was a tutorial and they're trying to exaggerate the effectiveness of this uh, attack, but dude, all you have to do is block and hit R2. <laughs> That's pretty OP. Okay, so we're back where we started now. Strength gesture, right? Is it automatically equip it? No good. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be OP, man. Right? There must be a, a stat or something that's going to be able to control when they... Well, I mean, I know there's a poise stat. I've already seen it in the menu. So I guess for some enemies, it's not going to work out that way. Like you're going to 
probably have to do it a few times. Or it may not even work at all. And I guess it would also have to do with maybe the stats of your shield. Looks like we got something going on here. Use stone sword key. I don't think I have one, do I? Nope. No stone sword key in inventory. Okay. Looks like we got a a boss arena, maybe? I can't tell if you can go left or right down there. I don't think you can. I think that's just a room. Gotta have a stone sword key, I guess, to get in there. Don't have one. Nope. Don't care about multiplayer. Dude, this reminds me of the opening for Dark Souls 2. Things betwixt this monument right here. I know it's a lot smaller, but I'm just saying that's the first thing I thought about when I saw it. Okay. Got 606. Oh, here we go. Now, I have seen this before. Either in a trailer or a clip or something like that. I've seen this before. That is nice. The color palette for this game is amazing. And looks like we got a grace ahead. And an NPC. Oh, we got an enemy over there. And something down there. Um... We got these trees. I wonder if all these trees are important. These trees. Obviously that sucker's important, <laughs> but. And we got these light beams. I think that's what they were talking about earlier. The, the some, some, what did it say? You could find lost sites of grace or whatever, where the light converges. I'm assuming that's what that is. Not sure. All right, let's head down here see what this is uh, summoning pools in each area you may find effigies of martyrs these effigies are summoning pools easy to summon other play oh that's multiplayer stuff oh. don't do the multiplayer stuff unless there's a trophy for it okay Guidance of grace. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that, that power. Their golden ray, their golden rays will guide you along your way. Okay. There it is. Telling me to go over there to the church. Uh, I'm assuming that's a church. Is that a church? Yeah. Church or a bell tower or something looks like we got a tower on top i don't know if there's a bell in there or not but to me that screams church okay map uh okay you can also freely place beacons of light serve as landmarks Okay, so we got those markers. That's very similar to uh, the Witcher. Okay, so you have markers and you have beacons. Square is markers and X is beacon. Okay. Oh, and they're numbered. How many can you place? You can do five. Guys, that's going to come in handy when we do the guide. Because then I can just place markers and tell you go, to go in order. Like go to one, two, three and go over to four. That'll save me some commentary time because once I set you up, you'll know where to go. Good. Okay. Um, sites of grace. I like the list on the side. It's nice. Okay. Interesting. Let's rest to get our health back. And then I guess we're going to head over there to the, uh, let me talk to this guy. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. 
No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Hmm. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Okay, so we can never get lost. We'll always know where to go. Okay, uh, let's go over there first. This is where it's telling me to go. And then maybe we'll come back and fight that guy. That may just be an NPC though. Let me just see if I can talk to this fool, man. You know, oh yeah, nah, he's an enemy. Okay, we'll bypass him for now. Can I kill these little guys? Come here, dude. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> okay. All right. Beast liver. Sounds good. Sounds like some 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 good eating right there, ladies and gentlemen. A little, little beast liver. Never hurt nobody. Yep, this is a church. Got a little dude. This is Santa Claus, right? What the heck? <laughs> Chucker looking like Santa Claus. Tell me I'm not the only one who thinks that. That dude is straight Santa Claus, bro. Let's get this. What is this? Strengthening armaments. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Okay. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even strong. Okay. Smithing stone. Okay, so there must be levels to these because it says one. See, smithing stone one. <clears throat> So there must be levels, so, okay. Oh, what did that say? Reinforce armaments up to plus three, okay. Can I do that now? Or do I need several of them? With the smithing menu, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments, okay, blah, blah, blah. You can strengthen your armaments up to plus three, okay, at a smithing table, and then you need the, the Better blacksmith to go past plus three. Got it. Okay. Uh, looks like we need two. Need one more to level up. One more uh, smithing stone. Okay. You're a tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat then why not purchase a little something i am carly purveyor of fine goods oh let's buy something all right uh with the shop menu you can spin runes to purchase various items blah 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 okay oh man a ton of stuff telescope reveals co-op Enables the practice of item crafting. Is that like a portable workstation or something? Ex expands crafting. Okay. Um. Gauntlets. 
Large leather shield, 85 physical. Torch. Not really sure if I want to buy anything yet, unless he's got some smithing materials. He doesn't. If I could find somebody that had some um, recommendation. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom counts, after all. Interesting. Goodbye for now. Alright. If we had one more um uh what is it called? Smithing stone or whatever? Fast travel. What's it called again? Yeah, smithing stone. That's what we're on the hunt for. I guess we're gonna go and see what's up with this enemy. It's like it's telling us to go over there as well. So we'll do that next. Let's take a little detour and see what's up. Where does he at again? Oh, here he is. Here he is. Um, triangle. <laughs> Switch the weapon there. Okay. Very aggressive. Oh, okay. <laughs> he hits uh, pretty hard. Yes. Let's learn his attacks. This is a straight boss, dude. I just noticed it. He has a full health bar at the bottom. Okay. His attacks are pretty telegraphed. stuck in the environment let me let me I gotta get out of here I gotta get down here guys where I can fight this fool without all the rocks and stuff in the way here we go Woo. that's pretty standard get his timing the best way to learn timing for these fights is to not roll um, like next to the enemy you want to look at the attacks and roll out here but act like you're close right hopefully that made sense it made sense in my head <laughs> before I said it you can actually time everything out his attacks are easily dodged though. Nothing to it. Just gotta figure out when to um, actually land shots. That's easy. When you've played a bunch of Souls game, man, they just all play out the same, really. If you've played it, I mean, I've played them all. Thousands of hours. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did you guys see how the weapon bounced? off the ground and it still it still had an um an active uh hitbox after the bounce death upon dying you will be revived at the last sign of grace okay you lose your runes but you don't lose anything else right now oh the compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes oh oh there they go there's my runes right there i'm looking at the menu now so at least you don't lose any health like in dark souls 2 you know you lost a little bit of your health and in demon souls you lose half your health so that's not bad i'm not worried about losing though a little cheap shot maybe You know what, let me get back down here. I'm assuming I can pick these up, yeah. Alright. Oh, okay, I gotta time that out. The horse got involved. I didn't realize the uh the 
horse was also going to be <laughs> able to hit me in this fight. Okay. Okay. I, I bet I could punish that too. That seems to be that string of attacks right there seems to be attacks that I could punish. Obviously getting behind the horse is going to be the best uh, method for, de for dealing damage. Okay. I did not think he had a three attack there. Okay. Let me heal up. Okay. See that every time I get behind him like that, it's a free hit. There's the three attack. Okay. Whoo! I missed time that roll. That was on me. Okay. I could have hit him there. I could have hit him there. See, when you get behind him like that, he doesn't do anything. And unless the boss, uh, unless the horse has like a rear kick, I think that's the safest spot. See that? Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, dude. You got to give that to me. See, this is bad. I got lucky there. Trying to fight him from the front. It's no good. There we go. See? And he never hits you when you're behind him like that. Oh, I should have sprinted forward a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay. A little bit of uh, area damage there. Didn't didn't exceed. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I thought he was just going to slam his shield into the ground and that was it. But he said, no, no, no. I have other plans. Okay, so I'm going to have to roll that. Or just maybe run out of there and sprint out of there. I can go for a cheap hit. Yeah, you can get one in. Probably could have got two in because he he does that every time. Let's get that here, guys. I can't fight him up here around all these rocks. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, dude. That's easy to avoid. I wish I could find a way to punish that. But that right there, that that attack string is the one. See that? I can even get two hits. You can. Hit him here. So he has that lunge attack where he puts the weapon into the ground. That's an automatic at least the automatic um well it's either a one hit but you can get two is what i'm trying to say that's easy oh, that attack that attack man if you don't roll it correctly that bounce that bounce off the ground is so misleading because your mind tells you that you you've rolled through the attack it's done the the you know the uh, the weapon has hit the ground but then when it bounces up it's still active so i've got to uh get the timing down for that or just maybe not even roll that attack at all Let's see how many hits i can get here i think i can get two two cheap shots oh i should try using my uh 
my weapon art thing or whatever they're called in this game. Use my FP. Oh, nice. Let's get out of here. Come on, dude. I know you're not supposed to turn your back on enemies and stuff, but you know, whatever. <laughs> horse got involved again <laughs> little side bash action so if you're around the saddle on that side he just rams into you okay didn't didn't see that one coming all right well lesson learned less actually you know what i'm not even going to go for the cheap shot i'm just going to use this opportunity to get out of here All right, let's go. I did not know he could swipe in the opposite direction. I thought all of his swipes were forward. That swipe came back to me. Okay. Okay. See how that thing bounces? Okay, that time I wasn't behind him. I got to be directly behind him before I consider myself safe. Like here. Okay. Delayed attack. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Get out of there. Woo. Okay, we got this. Come on. Easy. I wonder if I should use my special attack there. No. Well, maybe. God, that's so brutal. I gotta get out of that, like sprint away or jump or something. That attack is brutal. Oh no. Uh, I gotta get the timing down for that. I'm glad he didn't shield bash that time. I would have been dead. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought I was behind him, but he turned. He tur I mean, I was, and then he turned to the right and got me. Okay. So the shield bash is a weakness right now. I need to fix that. I'm, I'm assuming I can just jump it. Because it looks like all the damage is coming from the ground. I probably could have got two hits in there. You know? Two of those R2s? I'm going to find a way to cheese this fool for the RTC guide if we have to. What is that? He just buffed his shield. That's interesting. I've never seen that before.
Nice. Nice. Okay. Come on. Roll. Nice. I, mm, I knew that was coming. <clears throat> the horse got involved. Okay. Jump it. Of course, that time I was probably just outside of the the radius of the attack. But jumping it. And that's going to be the ticket, I think. Oh, that time he didn't do the move. He just just bashed me with the shield. OK, mistimed it. So he has a jumping shield bash. He just has a lunging shield bash. And then he has that one where he doesn't jump and he bashes it into the ground. So, okay, learning. All right. I guess the best option there is just going to be to sprint away every time. Just get away from all of it, you know, get a shot in and then run. Pretty sure he's stunned a little bit there. That's pretty cool. Come on, homie. I was hoping maybe I could just land some of those, but I, I don't I think it's just more effective to use my regular attack. Another one? Oh, went for the four attack. Oh no. Roll. Nice. Okay. Lunge. I can always. Oh, I'm going to get hit. Cannot be around the saddle area. Okay, get away from the rocks. I don't like the rocks. Okay. Ah, he's going to hit me. I just told myself not to go for two hits. Just go for one and get out of there. It's not worth it. Okay. <laughs> just go for one hit there. I'm good until he gets down to about 50% health and then he starts becoming really aggressive with the shield. And that's when I need to start paying attention to um, those attacks more and then just getting out of there. Not worth it. Nice. Nice. Two hit. Two hit. 
perfect. Ah, oh, come on, you gotta give me that. I gotta get out of all these rocks, dude. I can't, I can't do it. One hit, cause I'm by the saddle. Yep. Not worried about that attack. Okay, now I'm just gonna start playing it a little bit more safe here. Just gonna go for one attack. Just to be safe. Any time now he's gonna start doing the shield bash and I gotta be I gotta be out of there. I missed him. Play it safe. Ah, come on, dude. Not today, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Nah, that was my fault. That was stupid. It's on me. Oh, what a delay. What a delay. It's like he's slamming a basketball. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you've seen those movies where they slow down the, uh, the footage when they're slamming. <laughs> That's what it looked like. And get away. Okay, this is going to be a long fight, but. Oh, you got to give that to me now. Go for two hits. One. You just told yourself one. 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 One means one. <laughs> Not two. Yeah, it just comes down to execution. I've got I've got him uh I mean I know all his attacks and everything. I got the timing down. I'm just not executing properly, so that's what we gotta work on now. I feel like he's almost stunning there. There's like a animation that happens or like a sound effect or something. Is he stunning or trying to stun? I'm not sure. I feel like there's something different about the way that special attack hits. Oh, come on, dude. Dang it. My fault. I can go for two there. That's pretty safe. Okay, now I need to start watching out for the shield bash. And that attack, oh, I roll it a majority of the time, but when it hits me, it hits. I need to start doing a better job re replenishing my health too. Um, 
Because if I'm at like 50 or 60%, he can one shot me. So I need to stay above maybe 75% or so. I'm just going to avoid him for now, man. I can't, can't deal with all the rocks, bro. Just let him chase me down here. Just walked into it. I just walked into it. Hey man, I'm right here. Can you hit me? I'm right here, bro. Literally. Just hit me. Yeah. Sounds fun. <laughs> just walk right up to the saddle area and just let him hit me. I rolled, I swear. I swear. Okay. <laughs> Execute Exonovant. Execute order 66 on this fool boy. Need to turn my air on too. It's getting toasty up in this mug, boy. Okay. Shake it off, man. It's an easy fight. I swear to you, it is. I've got him clocked. The problem is, is I'm executing poorly. But all of his attacks and stuff, I got him. I got him, but I got to execute. I got to stop being... Um, so aggressive. Just get a shot and get out of there. And it's ball game, baby. Now this one I can normally land to. I'm comfortable with that. Now see, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. Can land two there normally. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Got him. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Roll. Get him. Nice. I feel pretty comfortable there because his weapon's kind of in the ground and there's a little bit of a stagger animation there. I rolled early. I rolled early. on me get one there we go get out of there get out of there exonovant just one get out jump it no problem Get out of there. If I can just stick to that pattern, I will win. As long as it doesn't hit me with the halberd when um, I'm trying to roll the attack, obviously. Just like that. Then get out. Nice. Get out. Nice. Come on, baby. One hit. Roll. One hit. Get out. Just like that. All right. Come on, boy. Now that, now that attack right there makes me nervous. Because it closes range really quick. One hit, get out. Ah, oh, we got this fool, son. 
I wish I had more health. Get out. See, sprinting out of there is the trick, dude. Then you can avoid all of it. Watch. Sprint. See? Then you don't even have to jump it. Oh, I went early, I thought. Oh. If I don't beat him this time, I'll definitely get him on the next one. I got him figured out now. I mean, I've had him figured out the whole time, but I'm executing properly now. Ah, oh, come on, dude. You got to give that to me. I know what caused that. I was on those rocks. I need to be on a level. I need to be on level ground when he does that to get my timing right. I was elevated. That's why I do not like the rocks. I can still do this stuff. I can still do this. Stick to the plan. You don't need health if you don't get hit. Get out of there, baby. Get out, get out, get out. No, 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 not today. Not today. Get out, get out, get out. Yes, sir. I gotta get off these rocks. Coming down to the wire. Get out, get out, get out, play safe. I don't like the rocks. <laughs> the rocks are OP. Get out. few more hits come on oh no okay okay I never really attack on that sequence I went for it I paid for it I think if it was early on in the fight and he wasn't breaking out the shield moves I could have got away with that but not with the shield moves okay Let's no damage this fool, son. Let's just not take any damage. <laughs> I can do it, man, if I stick to my plan and I don't get greedy. I bet you I could no damage this fool. Come on, bro. I am not scared. Let's go. I can be a little bit more aggressive here at the beginning, though. Just because he's not really active with the shield moves yet. See how I went for that attack then and I was fine. Okay, now I got to start being a little bit more careful. Get out. Nice. Good damage. Now I got to be safe. I don't like the bushes. I don't like the bushes, the rocks, the trees. None of them. <laughs> Get out. Let me, 
Let me work my way back down this hill, guys. One hit, get out. Oh, he kind of read me there. Nope, no hit. We're going to no damage this fool. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Give me that. Get out. Nope, not today. Get out. I could have went for another hit, but we're playing it safe. See that? If you just run away, man, you're good. Ah, I went for it, but I probably shouldn't have. All right, 50%. Nope. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Nice. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm going to start talking trash to this fool, and then he's going to own me. <laughs> and I'm going to look stupid. <laughs> it's okay. Come on. Get out. That's why we get out of there, man. That's why we exit. You always have to have an exit strategy, man. Okay, do the move so I can counter you just like that. Easy, baby. Pattern. Get out, get out. Get off the rocks. Nope. I can't see man that freaking tree just cost me my no damage I couldn't time the roll correctly because I couldn't see when it was coming you know all right reset 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 freaking horse gets involved it's all over bro Nope. Come on. I'll take that. Nice. Oh, no. Shouldn't have went for it. Although if I would have sprinted away, I would have been fine. Sprint. I don't like the rocks. Get out of there, baby. Come on, dude. Bushes and trees and rocks. I even hate grass at this point. <laughs> Bushes, shrubs. Come on, man. Come on, dude. I 
I do not like my position right now. Got to get, got to get down this freaking hill. All right, this is it right here. It's either you or me. Red him, red him like the Matrix, baby. Ball game. Boom, sucker. Uh, that felt good. And I got the golden halberd. 3,200 runes. This gonna give me nothing right here. <laughs> I already. Oh, that one felt good, man. It took us some time, but we improved. It just came down to execution. I knew how to win this fight, you know, 20 minutes ago. I just was trying to get too greedy, man. Once I executed properly, it was easy. That felt good, man. Okay, that's what I'm talking about right there. I want that feeling for the entire game, and we'll have no problems. Okay, let's... Um, Dang, that felt good, man. Let's see what... Can I equip this halberd? No, I need... um. Uh, wait, what do I need? Oh, I need 30 strength. Woo. Okay. Well, let's, well, I don't even know where to level up at. How do you level up? I don't even know how to do that yet. Or do I, is there an option here that I just missed? Or maybe it's just time to follow the story. Yeah, you can't level up here. Um, what I can do. God, why didn't I do this before? Oh, use a golden seed to increase your number. Did I have a golden seed or did I just get one? I don't have any. Okay. Wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah, dude, I could have done this. And gave myself one more Estus. Then I that would have helped me out a lot. I just didn't think about it until just now because I'm not really using this ability that much. Okay, so let's follow the story now. That was fun, man. That was incredible. That feeling, man. It's that's what the Souls games. I keep saying Souls game. Elden Ring. <laughs> that's what it does, man. What's up? Uh, once you get that feeling, boy, that's why I keep coming back to these games. Like I said, as long as this game can maintain that for the entire game, we're going to be in good shape. What do we have here? Golden rune. Okay. So I'm going to wait to pop all of those once I figure out how to level up. I don't want to waste them now and then die. Uh, okay. So we got to go this way. All right. We're on the move. Am I supposed to be picking all of these up? Yeah. So if it's brightly colored like that in the environment, then it's something I should be picking up. All right, where are we going? All right, straight ahead. So we're going basically to the north. I'm looking at the uh, little mini map at the top. Just pick this stuff up, even though I have no idea what any of it does. I'm sure I'll need it later. You pick these up? No. So some of the stuff you can't pick up. I think that's the enemy over there. I'm not really worried about fighting all these smaller enemies. I just want to fight bosses and find stuff. All right. I guess I'm going. Maybe it's telling me to go there. Oh, that's an enemy. Uh, is he still following me? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, what was it at? Um, wait, no beacon. Oh, okay. It's back there. I'm assuming that's where, oh, there's a great. Oh no. That's where it's telling me to go. A grace point of grace. No enemies. There is something over there, though. I'll do this first so I can get a fast travel point and then I'll go check that out. 
touch grace. Okay. Now it's telling me to go that way. Okay. Before I do that, see what's going on with all of this. Ooh, that reach. I like that. I really like that jumping attack. Oh, there's a smithing stone. I don't think I'm going to level up this weapon yet. I think I'm going to save that for the, um, the other halberd that I just picked up, right? Gate front ruins. I don't really want to fight the enemies. I just want to see what this is. Oh yeah, there is something here. The map. Okay. All right. Let's see what that uncovered. Oh, a new map has been found at Limgrave West. Okay. So now, now we get to see a little bit more. Okay. So we get to see landmarks. So obviously there's something there, something there. So then you would just go to each one of these and explore and see what you can find. Yeah, and you can kind of tell what some of this stuff is just by looking at it. Like that's obviously like a castle or something, a fort. Um, an epic bridge action happened in there. That reminds me of that bridge from um, uh, what is it? Uh, freak. What's the name of that game? Shadow of the Colossus, the Long Bridge. Okay, that's where I'm at now. Gatefront ruins. Okay, so it's telling me to go this way. So let's follow. Okay. All right. Looking for another boss fight, baby. Storm gate. There's an enemy up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I need my shield through here, I, I guess. I got to do that nonsense where I have to switch weapons. I don't want to fight this fool with archers around. God, they're absolutely. Let me get my health back. Will it let me? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get my health back and then we'll charge in again. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. 
Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. Share them with me. Your thoughts. Your ambition. Horseback riding. Okay, so that's how you get the horse. Okay. You can dismount by using the whistle again or by pressing L3. Wait, what? If your spectral steed dies. Oh, okay. Then you have to. Okay, I was basically. I read that wrong. I thought you could. You could only call out the. Uh, the horse. What am I trying to say? I thought that if you call the ho the horse out one time, it would use all of your um, FP. Wait, Flask of Crimson Tears to do so? Not Cerulean Tears. Okay, so you use your, your health flask. I got you. Okay. Uh, we want to... Okay, here we go. Hold on. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. So this is just like Neo 2 just a different shortcut set you got to hit that stupid triangle button to get it out okay <laughs> i'll get used to it um let's oh three thousand okay and then this was this is smaller 400 kind of horrible all right now let's let's level up we're just going to put it all in the strength man No, not vigor. What am I doing? Strength. Take it to 20. I'm just looking at my stats. That's not really. I mean, that's just going from 125 to 131. That's not. I mean, I don't think that's a lot. That could be a lot for this game, but 125 to 131 doesn't seem like a lot more damage. So I may need to level up that, that, um, my halberd to get some more damage. We'll see. We'll see. Well, I guess I could just warp, right? Let's do this. Let's just warp to the other place, level up the halberd and then come back. Uh, let's see. Where was that? Over here? Yeah. Let's do that. Because it's going to take me a long time to get to strength 30, you know? This way tarnished. Who's May this? A word. Who's this lady? A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. Oh. Spirit Calling Bale. Lone Wolf Ashes. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Okay. With the spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You can not summon spirits during multiplayer. Okay. So this is like the game's version of phantoms then. So this will come in handy for boss fights and stuff. Forgive mine intrusion tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, 
before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers. All right. So apparently the trigger for getting her to show up was to go over there and get the horse. Okay. Or maybe it's a nighttime thing, but I think it's for getting the horse. All right. Okay. Let's level this up. Yeah, that'll take me from... It's still only 125 to 132. It just doesn't seem like a lot, but maybe that's a lot for this game. You know? All right, now we, we shall uh, warp back over here and continue our journey. Maybe I can get in one more boss fight. I don't know how far I am away from a boss, but if we could get in one more boss fight, that might be cool. Okay. Uh, what is the thing? Oh, that must be... There's a thing over the parry. See that? Like a tombstone or something. I guess that's how I would summon. Okay. Let us level up. We're going to go all strength. I want to see what these stats do. So mind controls what? Okay, so mind controls how much FP you have. And it's a standalone stat. So, well, I guess it can helps out with some defense too okay um wait what is that defense power attack power body and then the, your body has vitality i don't understand and then vigor has hp which is your vitality so you have two vitality stats i'm not sure what that means endurance Equip load, that's typical stuff. Okay, dexterity. Ah, so dexterity controls all the stats. Look at that. If you're looking to boost all the stats, there you go. Intelligence. Okay, all the stats. Maybe they all do the stats if you get to a certain level. Okay, they do, they do. See that? Okay, so once you reach a certain point, then you get boosting all the stats got it faith okay arcane so arcane is your item discovery but how do you uh get more memory slots i don't see a i don't see a stat for that i don't know like if you were a magic user i don't know how you would increase your magic. I mean, I see the magic stat, but that's defense. I don't know. I must be missing something. Figure it out later. Let's go kill some stuff. <laughs> Enough of this talking. Okay. And how do I call the horse? Oh yeah. I got to do triangle. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have to equip it? Wait, how did that work? Oh, but how do I, um, how do I equip it on my over here? Right? No, I don't want to do that. Am I missing something? Oh, switch. I see triangle. Yeah, got it. Okay. I see. So for me, it's going to be to the right. The triangle right okay that's gonna take some getting used to all right and uh i think that's all i need i think i could just sprint through here right wait i didn't mean to do that how do you sprint do you just hit O like you do with your character oh yeah oh yeah 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 we're just gonna sprint through here can i grab that i can Okay. Yeah, we're just going to skip all these fools. We're looking for a boss, baby. I don't have time to deal with the smaller enemies. I guess I could be picking up all this stuff. Oh, there's something. Golden seed. Okay. 
Oh, it asked me earlier if I had a golden seed. Okay. There's a... Oh, look at here. Are those enemies going to be following me? No, I think I'm good. Uh, oh, there's another. Oh, they are following me. Wrecked. Anyone else? Okay. Yeah, uh, a second ago it asked me about a golden seed when I got to... Oh, there's a stone sword key so we can go back to the beginning and see... See what's up with that. We'll do that before we end this session too. Little secret. Vanquishing enemy groups. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flask. The number and type of flask to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flask than your maximum. That is cool. That encourages exploring. Right? Because if you're killing enemies, you're getting flask and you don't really need to worry about having a, a um, finding a, a, a lost grace, right? Okay, let's go in here and talk to this. Storm Hill Shack. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? If you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. Another gesture. I haven't even looked at the trophy list yet, but I'm assuming there's going to be a trophy for getting the gestures. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Dang, son. I'm not trying to have my limbs cut off either. Does not sound like fun. Okay, so let's... um. Let's see what's up with this golden seed. See what it does. Uh, oh, so that just gives me an extra flask, right? Yeah, okay, let's give one over to FP in case I want to summon or whatever. Well, I guess I can only summon one time, right? And I already have a bar, so I, I don't think we'll need it for now. Okay. Wait, what did that say? Okay, sacred tier. Okay, so there's golden seeds, sacred tier. Got it. Okay, where are we going now? What? Through the rock? Wait, what? Are we just going around, I guess? Uh, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can set a... Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to go around like this. Okay, so let's just um follow the path. Bump all these enemies. I guess I could hit them, right? Can you hit them? Yes, you can. All right. You know, a little love tap. You know what I'm saying? Dude, there's a bunch of these. What is this thing? Adding skills? With the whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armament new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. Oh, so you can switch out. Interesting. Oh, what did I get? Wild strikes. Okay. 
wild strikes okay we'll look at that when we get to another uh site of, or another uh is it, are they called sight of grace lost grace oh my gosh woohoo baby that kind of hurt just a little bit just a little bit all right we got to go around again i'm not worried about the enemies just want to progress man find another boss explore there we go these fools do not know me are they following me no heck no okay okay we'll take that okay um maybe we should go back and check the oh hey buddy maybe we should go back and use that stone sword key quickly looks like we're going that way is that up oh that's a path i thought it was a fog gate okay let's go back oh i didn't mean to do that I want to, oh wait 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 I did want to do that because I want to check on the ashes right uh sort chest what is sort chest oh storage okay yeah we're not worried about that um let's yeah lone wolf of ashes is that equipped right now or do I have to do that over here? I do. Okay. And then I also want to do. What was the other thing? It's not up here. Well, I think that was all I was trying to do, right? The ashes. So much going on. Okay. Um, okay. Let's fast travel back to home base i think this is where i want to go uh cave of knowledge yeah i want to go here all right i have to say guys so far so good okay there's a lot of stuff going on every every you know three to five minutes something's happening the first boss was cool Wait, I thought I had a stone sword key. Oh, it says not enough. So you need more than one. I do have one, right? Did I pick it up? Or am I stupid and I didn't pick it up? Should be in my keys. No, I have one, but you just need more, I guess. Okay. Well, at least I know that that is um, a dead end for now. Oh yeah, I wanted to do this. No, no, I wanted to do the skill. I wanted to apply the ashes of war. That's what I was thinking about earlier. But how would I do that? It said I could do it at a at a grace, right? Memorize spell. Nope. Um, maybe I just do it from here. No, it's not giving it to me. I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong there. I thought it said I could switch it at a, at a side of grace. Um, but I'm not seeing the option for it or past time, level up flask, memorize spell. Unless I'm just being stupid right now, which is a possibility. Yep. So I'll deal with that later. Let's go back to where we were. And continue. See what's up next. But yeah, so far it's fun. Oh, wait, I didn't want to go here. I wanted to go here. Well, the map looks big, but you can cover distance really quick. So it's not as big as you think. I mean, we've already done. If I would have ran straight from the beginning of the game, I could have got here in probably five minutes. 
seven minutes just running straight like as soon as i hit the open world just take off and run through here i mean it's not that big you know which is good uh what is it triangle right wait can i not ride my horse did i unequip the horse wait what Did I unequip? No, it's on there. Guess maybe you just can't call the horse in this tunnel. There's one of those things. Oh. So there you go. I could summon somebody to. Oh, this is not a. Um, this is a. A phantom from the game though right this is not a real player because i'm not playing online right okay let's do it see what this is like because i'm pretty sure i'm playing offline okay all right well let's go homie Let's go, me and you. Let's roam around and see what we can get into, man. Okay. Okay, so we can maybe fall down. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened. By the flame of ambition. Okay. No, 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 no. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I got my sorcerer friend. Oh, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight the uh the boss would have would help though. How did how do I summon again? Triangle. I just wanna see what this does. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah, that, that sorcerer is not really doing much. I just want to see what kind of damage all this stuff can do. Because this will be a great distraction for the RTC guy. Because we can just sit back and fire magic. Yeah, he owns all these enemies pretty... Uh, owns our teammates pretty quick. <laughs> but if we're over level, when we get here, we can just hit him with magic and kill him quick. I'm just going to let him kill him. And then I'll fight him. They haven't done that much damage. He's got some really quick projectiles though. I got extremely lucky dodging those. That was not something that <laughs> I planned. Okay, it's just me and you. Woo, those things are quick. There's two of them. I'm worried about the sides of this arena because you can fall off. Are you going to do anything? Okay. I got to learn that attack. A little bit of a delay on it. Dude, if you had a ranged weapon right now, you would just destroy this guy. Oh my God. That's quick. Delay. Okay. Knife attack. Okay. Yeah. Because he doesn't do anything when you get far away. He just walks. So if we had a, if we had a range character here for our RTC guy, we would just destroy this dude. Okay. Well, we got another boss fight. <laughs> we got our wish. I'll end it here. Probably. I've experienced enough of the game. I think to, uh, to be able to give you guys a good first impression. Hopefully you can tell that I'm enjoying it. All right, homie, what are you going to do? 
I get close, will you do the, I might can prevent him from doing the, okay, so that's a double attack, but it's very telegraphed. So that might be the one that I need to punish. Just like with the first boss, it was a two attack that I could punish. Okay, that was a weak attack. Okay, the knife is fast. The knife is fast. I wonder if sprinting would just be a way to deal with this guy. Just sprint around him. Nope, he's got a sweep. Okay, more projectiles. Okay, so that's just a one attack. I thought that was going to be a two. So you have to actually make this enemy upset. You have to get close. That's the one I punish. That's the one we punish right there, ladies and gentlemen. That delayed jump attack gets punished. We don't worry about these. Oh, that's the two attack. I can punish that one. Then get out of there. So we've got two attacks we can punish. Not worried about the other attacks. But notice how I'm actually baiting him into these attacks. Otherwise, he just stands there. Or walks, I should say. I can actually get three attacks. See how I'm actually getting close enough for him to attack. Otherwise he just walks through. This guy's going to be easy with our, in our RTC guide. Okay. That delay though, that delay on that second attack is, is tricky. I don't want to get around that knife too fast. I want to keep baiting out these, uh, these delayed jumps. Oh, so he can go projectile to attack. I thought it was always going to be two projectiles, but it's not. Ooh, straight uppercut to the face. He's not doing the uh, delayed jump anymore. The delay. Okay. I got to get that. I got to get the timing right on that attack. And I'm going to go ahead and give myself one more Estus flask. I'm not going to summon or anything, so I don't need the FP recharge. We'll do that. Oh, wait. Forgive me. I've been testing you to see whether or not Grace truly does guide you and whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Oh, let's take a little detour, guys. Let my hand rest upon you. For but we'll minute. come back. I'm going to end it with this fight, I think. Let's see what's up. What does she call it? The round table oh there's a trophy for that round table hold is a place where tarnished gather gathered by grace okay or guided by grace combat is prohibited um is located outside of this world and fast travel by grace is only is the only means for reaching it okay where is it at oh, okay Oh, okay. 
this must be like the firelink shrine of the game there's a bunch of npcs around here oh i see you've just arrived welcome to the round table hold i'm corin I teach so this is where you buy stuff i'm just going to speed through this dialogue guys so that one day if a time ensuring order regains its by the way uh sure i see it Wonder most tarnished to blind you or something well what do you say care to learn an incantation of the two feet maybe okay so this is where you buy all your stuff i got you so this is like the miracles for the game oh and some pyromancy too okay like I said, we're going to be a um, magician, probably. Oh, this is an account and very well. It is safe. Okay. So I wonder where the sorcery guy is. He's going to be. Ah, hello. I'm, well, the honor of one. By the way, she's my servant. Take your eyes off. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, guys. I just don't, I don't care right now. <laughs> I want to get back to the boss fight. But I just kind of want to know where my magician guy would be in here. This dude right here doesn't even talk. Oh, wait. Gesture. Okay. This place is huge, man. Who's this? Twin maiden husk. Offer a bell bearing purchase. Um, it's online stuff. Increase memory slots. Okay, memory stone. So that's a talisman, I'm assuming. For 3,000. Okay. Let me offer a bill. I don't have one, though. I don't think. Yeah, okay. Can I go in here? Nope. Okay, so. Can I go out here? Nope. Okay. Just keep trying all these little paths. Just want to see if I can find. Interesting. Where the magician guy would be. Because when I start routing this guy later on today, I want to know. Oh, there's a blacksmith. Oh, that's probably the blacksmith she was talking about earlier. Or the, the guy I was talking about earlier. Great champion called by grace. I am circumstances have um blah blah blah. Champion. Sorry guys, great champion. Yeah, we know. Yep. Sure. My What is going on right now? Okay. You Thanks for the hug, man. Very You're very warm. Okay. Oh, okay. What you felt light up inside you. Although it is but a fleeting come back to me. I will take you in my... Okay. I like what you've done with the place. Look at Snazzy. What's over here? Oh, it's just a... Oh, you can use the mirror. Apply cosmetics. Oh, you can change the way you look. That's cool. Okay. We're doing just fine, though, old Square Souls and I. Here's our blacksmith guy. Your new face, no matter how you... So, yeah, here we go. Now I can change... Ashes of War. Yeah, we've read that tutorial. Now we can switch, right? If I want to switch the Halberd, what would I do? Or maybe I just can't put the Ashes of War on this. Because I know they said certain weapons could only use certain Ashes of War. Um... Ash of War duplication. 
Oh, so you can duplicate it and put it on multiple items. Uh, okay. I have to figure that out, guys, once we um once I get into the guide making process. I just want to get back to that boss fight, if I'm being honest. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, I need another. Well, I've got one. Is that enough? It is. Okay. Oh, I see a treasure chest. Oh, you need more. Okay. All right. A little crossbow action. Okay. All right. And can you leave? Nope. Dead end. Okay. I think there was one more path. Well, there's actually more paths. I think this is probably going to be dead end. Yeah. Still haven't found the, the sorcerer. Again, I'm, I'm not going to buy any sorceries. I just want to see where he is. So when I start riding the guide, I'll just know. It's got to be back this way. Nope. This blocked shut. Well, I don't see him or maybe one of these guys do it later on. It might just be this one guy and I just don't have the spells there yet. Okay. I think we've explored. Can you go up here? That's cool, man. With all the swords and stuff, all the weapons shoved into the table. That's a nice look. Okay. Back to the boss. Back to the boss. Let's kill this fool and then we'll call it a day. I've played long enough. Hopefully you guys uh, got a good look at the game. Got my impressions. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Bows. No, nah, we're not going to use any bows. Come on, homie. There's the jump we're looking for. Oh, I could do my... um. My spin to win, right? Well, I mean, that's a stupid time to do it there. <laughs> but I bet it would do some pretty good damage when I punished his... Um... I need to get out of here. I don't want to be around that knife. Mm, 24 plus 203... I think my regular attacks did more damage, right? I'll test. Come on, dude. Dude. We're going to destroy this guy, my God. We're going to absolutely nuke this guy. That delayed attack, I swear. We're just going to sit back and pummel him with magic so bad, dude. Uh, I went to roll that. Timed it wrong. Yeah, regular attacks are better. 108 per. Go for three. Did he just read my um input there? Is that a thing in this game where every time you heal, they attack? Comes a delay. Better that time. I could punish that one too. Once I get that, that roll timing down. But his jump attacks, that's where he's weak at. Got him. Come on. I don't like that I'm not sent. There we go. Nice. Oh, shoot. Okay. He puts it away, though. 
I can still get an attack in though. He's still um easily countered there. Okay, so now he's got a straight up sword and his projectiles and the hammer. Can I get two? Uh, probably shouldn't go for two. <laughs> Just go for one. All right, he's got me backed up in this corner. I don't like this. There we go. Switch it around. Okay, watch the delay. I went too early, but I knew it was coming. Okay, only go for one. Only go for one. I guess in, unless I get there early. Unless I get there early enough, I can probably get two, but the safe play is one. Come on, dude. That's a five attack with the hammer as the six attack. Okay, watch. Delay, roll through, two hits. Now, now we're talking. Probably just gonna go for one though. But I could get two. I'm gonna get in heal for safety. Well, till he read my input. I swear he's reading my input. Here comes the six attack. That's number six. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, baby. Just don't get greedy there. Okay, watch the delay. Delay, swing through, hit, get out. I'm downloading this sucker. One. Okay, he didn't do the six attack that time, just one. Okay. Easy. Easy, baby. Come on. Oh, roll late. My fault. Come on, homie. Here's the delay. Delay, swing. Oh, I rolled early. You guys saw it. I rolled early. I knew it was coming. Read him. Poor execution. I need to heal. Should have enough time. Nope, I lied. <laughs> I don't like this position. I can still do this. I can still do this. Do the six attack. Now he's just doing that weak one attack. Okay, here we go. Delay, roll through, hit. Perfect. Okay. Easy. Get out. Again. Just keep doing that. Keep doing that. I will punish it. Every time. Come on. Do the six. No. There we go. You are so going to get destroyed. If not on this one, the next one for sure. Okay, watch the delay. I missed the first one. I normally am outside of range for that. Like I roll it, but I'm usually out of the range of it anyway, but I need to be prepared to actually roll it. I can still do this, 100%. Easy work. Do the six. Come on. I don't like this position. I like this position. Okay. Come on, homie. 
Here we go. Delay. I rolled early, but I got lucky. I shouldn't have went for two. Woo, woo. I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey, it's all under control, baby. <laughs> First try, no deaths. It's all good. There we go. That's the one we want right there. Come on. It's me and you, baby. Three more hits, maybe. Come on. Maybe two. I should just summon and let my wolves take him out. <laughs> just stand over there in the corner. He's backing me up, though. Come on. Okay. There we go. Next time, I'm just going to get the two shot and make sure he dies. Oh, he didn't. Oh, okay. 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 Hey man, it's, it's all under control, baby. I got this. <laughs> it came down to the one move and I didn't roll it. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. He's going down this time. 1000% dude. I knew what he was going to do. I just didn't roll it right. <laughs> Dang. That's a bad way to go out, son. But we got him. We got his pattern down now. It's all over, baby. It's all over, baby. I probably should just go for two attacks there. It's going to be safer. Three attacks is risking it. Okay. Maybe I should roll through. Oh, but then you still, oh, you roll through twice. I swear he's reading my, my inputs there. You roll through twice. I, I see now. I'll show you what I mean. Roll through twice. Pretty sure that's the ticket. Come on, dude. Do the move, man. Come on. Okay, watch. Well, that freaking thing got in my way. But you see what I'm saying? You roll through twice because the camera automatically adjusts. If I heal. Yeah, he's aggressive every time you heal, man. Okay. Come on, dude. You got nothing, bro. Dude, I don't even have to jump that. I mean, I don't even have to roll that. Just run. There's no AOE on it, so... I think there is for the golden hammer. <clears throat> Come on, dude. Okay. Delay. Delay. See that? And then I can get a hit in, baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, dude. I feel comfortable rolling that. But you don't have to. Come on. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit there. Woo. I'm going to choose this time to heal instead of hit. I was very low on health. Watch. I still, I still don't have the timing down, but I think you get what I'm trying to do, right? I think you can see it. I could just sprint away to dodge the first attack. That might be an option as well. I need to roll through here. I need to get get out of that corner 
Jump. Nope. Okay. Not worried about this. Oh, shoot, son. <laughs> I'm not worried about this. Not at all. Until he hits me with the golden hammer to the face, man. Broke my jaw. I rolled it. I, I could have swore I rolled it, but I guess I guess I didn't. <laughs> Dude, he just wrecked me, bro. I'm not worried about this. That's exactly when you die, baby. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. All right, we got him this time. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay. Roll it. Roll it. Just like that. Come on, baby. Sometimes I wish this boss was a little bit more aggressive because it would give me more opportunities to get some damage in. Come on. I don't like this position. I knew he was going to hit me there. I, I, I just wasn't comfortable on that side. See, man, every time I go to heal, he's reading my inputs. A hundred percent, bro. Nobody can tell me any different. I wonder if you can knock his tail off. I wonder. Delay. Got him. One hit. Get out. I don't like this position. There we go. Because the ledge was behind me. Okay. Easy, baby. Come on. Come on. I really wish I could go for three hits there safely, but I think two is just the right call. Delay, delay, abuse, punish. Ah, that's bad. He tracked me, bro. He tracked me. You saw it. I saw it. We all saw it. <laughs> he tracked me. Okay. All right. If I go back and look at the footage, I think after about like the third fight, we had it. I am just executing horribly right now. I've got his moves down. Having a still having a little bit of problems with the delay. And um the uh the tracking one. I gotta get away from this this edge. Jump. Nope, the time he didn't. Come on, dude. Don't be that guy. What is this? I got him into a loop.
Why am I crouched? Come on, dude. Come on. Track. There's the track move. He's going to hit me here. I forgot. You can't go in. You can't punish it. Forgot. Track? No. Jump? Yes. Oh, I'm in the corner. Should have went the other way. That's okay. Delay. Delay. Hit. Run. Got him. Come on. I haven't tried using my R2. Maybe it does a little bit more damage. Let's, let's test it. As soon as I get another jumping attack. I have to look at the damage. Jump. No, here's the track move. Dude, the track move, all you got to do is walk away, bro. I just did it there. It was so, so easy to do. Just create some distance. Delay. Oh, I went for that. I meant to, to use the other move. I held it down. You gotta tap the button. One fifty one. Uh, unless I can get two in. I think I do more damage with the other attack. Well, I know I do. Let's see if I can get two in. You can. It's a little bit more dangerous because it's slower, but it's a lot more damage track okay I get I get that attack now okay I see you that works 302 damage I'm not going to go for it now, especially when he does this attack. Well, I don't know. It's only 151. God, I swear I'm rolling, guys. I swear I'm rolling. I got to get out of here. Look at the nonsense, dude. The reading of the inputs. I'm doing 151 there. I want to see what I do with the regular attack. Since I can only get one attack after he jumps, it's going to be better for me to land uh, 151 damage than the other, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to start going for R2s. We're only going to go for one, though. I got to get out of here. Yeah. He was going for the six attack. I couldn't go back because of the ledge. And I just had to spam roll because I don't know the time. Well, I know the timing on how to dodge them all, but not that close. Okay. So we know now we're going to switch up things and go with the R2. We can get two shots in a little bit more damage. And then when he pulls out the golden hammer, we just go for one. Actually, that's dangerous because if he doesn't back away, I'm just sitting there. This dude is not hard, though. Not hard. It it's coming down to me not executing properly. I know everything he's going to do. So that element of the fight, it's over. It was over a long time ago. It's me against myself at this point. Same way it was with the first boss.
Come on. I knew he was going to get me. Because I was back defending that corner and he didn't have that run animation that he normally has. Dude, this reading of the input stuff, though, is kind of cheap. Let's just be real. <laughs> Let's be honest. Okay, it's the fact that you're standing behind him is the reason why he wants to jump away. If I'm standing beside of him, I can only go for one attack because he tends to want to be more aggressive. There's the tracking attack. Delay. Delay. Hit. Need to get out of here fast. There we go. There we go. See, I'm standing in front of him now, so I'm just going to get, get away. See how aggressive he is? If I would have been behind him, I would have taken advantage. There's the tracking attack. Jump. Nice. Now I should be able to get two in. So jump away. I'm safe. Golden hammer. All right, we got him this time, guys. We got four, four Crimson Tears, Estus Flask, whatever you want. I jumped early. I mean, I rolled early. I'm so going to get hit here. Delay. Delay. Hit. Get out of there. Ooh, he's a lot quicker now, though. He's a lot quicker now. Six attack, jump. I'm getting out of there though. Healing instead. I can't go for the R2 attack during this phase. He's too fast. I've got to go back to the um the R1 attacks. See how I can get out of there a lot easier. Jump again. Thank you. Delay. Delay. Hit. Get out of there. Don't crouch though. Don't be that guy. One attack. Tracking. Jump. Nice. Reset. Come on, bro. Delay. Delay. Hit. Get out of there. Track. Yep. Read it. I wasn't ready for it. Didn't think he was just going to straight up do it. He normally throws projectiles and stuff first. Track. Nope. Jump. Yep. I swear I'm, I'm breaking his hammer or, or it looks like I am. No six. Take it. I'm gonna back off in this direction though. I have a little bit more room on this side. Track, back away. Run. Easy. Let's go. Come on. Delay. Delay. Hit. Get out of there. Jump. Nice. 
Got him, son. I might heal for safety. In just a second. I'm almost at 50%. I'm gonna I'm gonna heal here. Just for safety. I don't like this corner though that I've just put myself in. Delay. I mistimed it, but I recovered. Wish he would do the six attack at that distance because I can easily avoid it. Come on, baby. Come on. Need to get out of this corner. Thank you. I really wish I could do R2 attacks, but I don't think it would work. I think he's just too fast. I'm out of position. Luckily, he jumped away. Jump. Nice. We need more of those. See, I can't even go for two attacks there because he pulls out the hammer again. Nice. Keep doing this. Keep doing this, bro. It's over for you, man. Don't make me call out the wolves. Here's the six attack. Oh no, he turned it into a tracking attack. Now he'll jump. Nice. Come on. I'll seek the wolves on you, man. I'm not scared. Jump. Thank you. Nice. We got him, guys. We got him. I think. Delay. Delay. Get. Get out of there. Nice. Jump. Thank you. I'm getting pinned up against this wall. He's going to do the six attack. Oh, and luckily he turned it into a tracking attack. Luckily he turned it into a tracking attack. If he'd have comboed me there, it might be over. Delay. Delay. I probably could have killed him right there, but I'm playing it safe. Ball game. Oh, what? I thought that was it. Okay. I got one more for you. This dude literally has one health. Tracking. He's on one HP, dude. A hundred percent. Delay. And I like that I ended the fight on that delay attack because it cost me the fight earlier. And we had to, he had the same pool of health earlier. That's the perfect way to end that talisman pouch. I have no idea what that does. It's a key though. Sounds good. Guys, this game so far is spectacular. I love it. I love it. If it can keep up this pace and this momentum, uh, for the rest of the game, we're going to be in good shape. Um, again, I I'm still looking for repeat bosses and stuff like that. Um, that's still something I'm worried about. But as far as having activities to do and things popping up on screen and me being rewarded for exploring and boss fights everywhere, it's perfect.